Good morning, second grade. Today is Thursday, August the 20th. Let me look, make sure the 27th. Yes, it's August the 27th, and it is Thursday morning. Hey, today we're going to start off our school day with our SEL. So you will need your Thursday folder. That's the only folder you need today is your Thursday folder. So everything goes right back into that Thursday folder when you finish. So we keep it nice and separated for Mrs. Patterson. Okay, so make sure you have your Thursday folder. And you are going to need this paper here that says Lesson 10, Social Awareness, Role Models. Okay, so we're going to talk about role models. So make sure that you have this paper for when you finish this lesson, listening to my lesson today. So a role model is someone you look up to and model yourself after. Okay, for example, when you are thinking about what to do or how to behave, you might think about your role model and ask, what would my role model do in this situation? So let's think about some role models. Who could be role models? The biggest and the most important role model that we have would be Jesus. We can use Jesus as a role model. And that's where that saying, what would Jesus do? Okay, that's the saying that we've had for a long time in different situations. How did Jesus act? How did Jesus care for people? What did Jesus say? So he could be a very, very good role model. We look up to him. We want to act. We want to say. We want to do what he did. So Jesus would be a perfect role model. Another role model might be mom or dad. Mom or dad are your big role models. You follow in mom and dad's footsteps. When you're little, you talk about wanting to do the same thing that daddy does when you grow up. If daddy's a painter, maybe you talk about, oh, it's so nice to be a painter and I can do just like my dad. Or mom does, mom's a good cook. I want to be just like my mom and do cook and maybe open a restaurant someday. They could be your role models. Your parents can be your role models. Okay? Your aunts, your uncles, things that they do. You can see how they act and do good things just like they act. And then, of course, your teachers, your teachers at school, Miss Greer at school. Um, all of us teachers here at school could be perfect role models. You want to act just like we do. You want to be kind. You want to be loving. You want to be caring. And you want to grow up and be just like that person. Okay? Now, sometimes... People think, especially boys, think that sports, pe sports players can be a good role model. And that's true to a point. Sports players, say soccer players that you might know, they could make good role models out there on that soccer field, the way they act and the kindness they, they do off of the field. But sometimes you have to stop and think, okay, is their whole life always being good? Some sports players are. They have charities that they work for. They raise money for different things. And they can be really, really good role models for that also. But then there are other sports players who go out and do things and get into trouble. So you don't want to follow those types of role models. Okay? So role models can be anything, anybody that you look up to that does good in your in their life, and that's exactly how you want to be. You want to be a good person and be a good role model when you grow up so that you can do good things and good deeds and have a big heart and care for everybody, make changes in the world that is good for us, okay? So that is what a role model is. With that said, on your paper, you have this great big square. It's not tiny. It's almost the whole page. And this is what I want you to do today. Think about one of your role models. Who is a role model for you? Who do you look up to? Who does really good things that you want to act like, like you want to be like? I want you to draw this person. And don't make it so tiny that I can't see it. 
You have a whole square to draw in. You have a whole square. So draw in the whole square. Draw that person. Then I want you to write beside that person, and you can just make lists. It doesn't have to be sentences. What that person does as a role model. So if you would pick Jesus as your role model and you draw him, you might say, he prays, he's kind, he's loving, he's caring, he tells good stories, he teaches us. So those are some things that you can list about your role model. So decide about a role model, who you want to grow up and be like, a good person that does good things. Draw and color that person. It needs to be colored. Draw and color. Don't make it tiny. Make it fill in the page. And then along one side or around your picture, write down words of why that person is your role model. What does that person do that you want to grow up and be like? Okay? So that is your first assignment for Thursday. I'll see you in just a little bit.